Hello, everyone. I'm Alexis Sarah, and I'm here for another sophisticated, 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 sophisticated review. Um, and truly, I am trapped in hell. I recorded this already, but guess what? I forgot to turn off my phone's volume, and I was gonna give it no effort anyway. And I thought even maybe I should post it with this terrible audio. Um. Because they an intelligent system put in no effort. I should put in no effort. But then I said I'm better than intelligent system. So I'll only put in minimal effort. You still have the screen recording thing on the bottom. You're still going to have my fiddling on my phone. But but we're going to... Here go. I don't need the fucking volume. Ding, 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 whatever. Here you go. Relaxing in hot springs. Special heroes. Hot spring battle. The most boring thing they could do. It's like... Oh, look. Can we be more imaginative? What character design can we do here? Um, wear fucking towels. Oh, he got little accessories. They could put little accessories on them. Fuck that. <laughs> Samurai Eddie's. So, um, Samurai Eddie's here is, um, voiced by Matt Mercer, who's a trans ally. So, um, as you can see, his skills here are good. Um, he gets a Savic score of two because Matt Mercer is a trans ally. I'm bored. So fucking bored. I'm so fucking bored of all this. I'm bored of Fire Emblem Heroes. I'm bored of this banner. I'm... Okay, Hot Spring Healer. Sakura, um, her brother's a trans ally, but, um, otherwise, uh, why? Why a towel? Oh, look, she has a little pink towel on her. A little head towel. It's such creative design. We gotta do so much design work for the way that she wears a towel. And this one's an outfit. Like, her and Elise are gonna have, like, outfit ones that you don't steal off their body. It's not like Hanoka. Okay. Thanks, Tracy. Um... You caught me in the middle of this new recording. So, uh, um, at the end of the turn, uh, one, uh, grant special cooldown to an ally with the highest attack. What a great skill. Physic, fine skill. Firebomb, fine skill. Wrathful, fine. Speed opening, fine. But guess what? Um, I don't like it. Fuck, fuck this. Um, two... Two out of ten for her, because um, why? Why do we need to needlessly sexualize female characters, especially uh, young ones? And here's Elise, who is a, an especially pressing example here, because uh, you can see she has rubber duckies. She has r rubber duckies, and um, that denotes a childhood. Um, and and you can remember Fire Emblem Fates Conquest or Revelations, in which uh, you can have a relationship with Elise. Um, despite her being raised as your sister, and also she's a kid. <laughs> and also um, other people can have a relationship with her, and um, all of them can produce children, um, unless you hack it to be gay and then gay and they can't produce kids without you hacking all the paralogs open because they hard-coded in gay people not having kids. Um, um, so you have to do a bunch of shit just to get around it, and um, here's her on a horse, which I'm sure is great feels great on the crotch area when you're just in a towel and it cannot mess up. All these um, flyers and horsey people, I'm sure they're feeling fantastic in these hot springs. Why are they on horses and, and things? They are almost naked. That's not a good idea. Um, her skills, not even, they're not even good. She's not even a good unit at all. She's, I mean, I guess she's unique because she has the thing. Um, one out of ten, fuck intelligent systems for her. So, um, so, no, no sapphic rating there. She gets one because she's a girl, I guess. And girls are all lesbians. All lesbians are queen. Uh, so here's Sonoka, and she's going to say a line here um, where she goes, like, who took my towel? Which is funny. It's hilarious because it's, it's hilarious, apparently, when Hanoka is sexually assaulted. Is it funny that people desire to see her undressed because she's butch and a lesbian? I don't know, um, but a uh, hot, hot trick here. I already did the search earlier when I did the original goose. I was like, your google.com, hilarious. Oh, I messed up. That's not the internet rule that's porn. This is the internet rule that's porn. I mean, I legit forgot because um, I don't know. I, that's not what I pride in my life, but here you go. So if you guys want Hinoka roll 634, it'll save you so much money on the Scott show because you'll see lots of different men's uh, different takes of full-on sexual intercourse with Hinoka to, like, just nudity, um, and maybe some cute lesbian art, maybe on accident, so, um, yeah, you can expect that, so you can save your money on the gotcha there, if that's what you're looking for, 
And uh, her weapon's a fucking uh, dragon skill. In fact, she is a dragon. Um, is she a dragon? No, she's not a dragon. It's just effective on dragons. Um, cool. And uh, she has air orders, which is a pretty cool skill. Attack speed link, which is a pretty strong skill. Drawback, um, she is a lesbian. So she gets 3 out of 10 sapphic score because she is a lesbian. But she gets demoted too because intelligence system has to make me think about why intelligence system is bad. And I really like to just enjoy intelligence system games. I'd really love to enjoy Fire Emblem. And here you go. So here's the last little bit. Um, you can see Camilla here also. Also gets a new variant, her sixth variant. Why do we have six Camillas? Why do we have three Sakuras and three Hinokas and uh, like fucking, what, five, four Ryomas? Like, uh, I don't, I don't, we don't need that many other characters. And you could do a, a more original theme. You see, like, towels, that's not, like, a very creative theme. What about Shido and Nor swaps? Like, if you want to do Fates, if you want to do Fates, and I'm not going to make fun of Fates, I want all the Fire Emblem fans to know that they're valid. They love Fates, whatever. I don't personally think it's the best. I'm replaying it right now, and I'm loving replaying it. But, um, it's just, it's a fucking shame that, um, they treat the characters like they are fucking blow-up dolls. Uh, and they are actually good characters. Um, so, what I really want to see here is just a more creative uh, design uh, from these things. I hate seasonal banners more than I hate like the normal variants. I don't have a big fan of normal variants, but at least it was like a class up, like Hanoka's Kinshi Night one. It's like, okay, well, look, it's like showing something from the games, or if it was like reclassed. Or if it was like some kind of cool theme, like it's like here's them but evil, or here's them if they're a goose, or here's them if you know, right? Like like changing classes, or here's them dressed as Nintendo characters, a Nintendo theme. But like, wait, there's so many different themes you could do, and none of them have to be fucking hot springs. I give this banner zero out of ten, no sapphic score. Um, I should have let a heterosexual review this. I hate it. I hate this banner, and um, I regret um, having to review this. Uh, bye bye, everyone.